Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. I'm your host, Lisan Faye, and Arl Puff has decided to move to the front of our formation here, even though he's like improperly floating on the stairs um, from some angles. Like if I were to actually go down here. Yep. Wow, he's not resting on any part of the stairs. Good job, boy. Um Anyway, so the Canari are attacking the city, and we're gonna go deal with them. What that entails? Well, I guess we shall see. We've already fought our way through Lowtown. We're now entering Hightown. Oh, dear. Parshera, quit your struggling, woman. Tepa! Boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. Knight Commander Meredith. Ignore the mage staff on my back, please. I know you. No, you don't. The name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. Too many. It's good that we found you, Knight Commander. The Canari are... It's obvious what they're doing. The Canari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? To get everyone important in one place where they can be controlled or killed. Ugh. Charming. Like, I want to help deal with people, but I don't want to assist you directly. That seems... Not healthy for my continued existence. Um. Though I don't think it really matters. Oh. Always happy to help in a life threatening crisis? Good. I'll overlook your own use of magic. For the moment. Head to the keep and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. I don't like her. Remind me never to get on our bad side. Seems to be unhealthy. Yep. I don't know how I feel about her overlooking our own use of magic. That just sounds like blackmail waiting to happen. 
We still have battle music going on. Um, let's put a point in willpower, two points in magic, just hit harder. Um, I keep wanting an ice attack for when we deal with dragons. I know, I know, we're probably not gonna fight any dragons soon. Ish. But we got Carta as well. You guys finally blow up. Better luck in the go too much further. Let's level you guys up. Um, I'm actually going to do it across the board for you. Um, okay, I've maxed that one out. There? No, I haven't. Varric, I've got your cunning where I want it now. Let's make you a little more dexterous. That's maxed out. This is max. No, no, it's not. Yep. Run. Elixir of heroism. Oh, 
Many thanks, my friend. Looks like you fared better than the other mages. The others? Surely they cannot all be. Enchanter Orsino, you survive. Your relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. Let me loot the bodies! And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean? I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. you and I don't like her the person who's off screen I won't have you two at each other's throats I'm in charge you you're not even of this city that neither am I yet I don't hear you complaining about us both fighting to defend our home very well then but whatever you plan be quick about it tell us then what is our course of action I take it running for the hills isn't an option? Yes, I said that. Or we could us. find out what they're up to. That works too. An excellent choice. Let's move quickly. Let me loot. Let me. No, no, stop. Let me loot. No. seem to be a great many Konari at the Keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly, they've been planning this for some time. Yes, we concluded that a while ago. I don't see any of my guardsmen. This is the only way in. We must assault them now before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. Decide quickly. We have no time. No, I agree about the distraction. Let's hear what you have in mind, Orsino. We'll need to get you inside and catch up as soon as we can. And just how will we do this? Have confidence, Knight Commander. You will not conquer this city without a fight! Cerebos! Vinicothus! <laughs> Canary were guardsmen that were lying there dead. Maybe some of them were still guardsmen lying there dead. Ugh. Gruesome.
It's hard to tell who's... Are these all couriers? That's rather unfortunate. Okay. Level up Anders now while I'm thinking about it. Um, attributes. Uh... Let's do willpower and magic. It's useful for you to have lots and lots of willpower because you are my healer and a lot of your statuses take up a lot of your monocle. So, anywho, this way, this way. Just confirming that there's nothing I can open on this side. I don't believe that there is. The doors have gone a rather pale gray versus their usual slightly brown tone when they're openable. All right, let's drop a quick save here. Ah, uh, great. We can hear people. Here is your Viscount. You dare? You are starting a war! Look at you. Like fat doth Rossi, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. But for all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. I see a man who's ready to start a war on principle. And what would the Kunari be without principle? You, I suspect. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. After all, few in this city command such respect. So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalin until the Tome of Kozloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? Well, 
I believe I can answer that. I do love that entrance. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. The Tome of Kazloon. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. Heroic acts of sacrifice? What will people say? This is your damned influence, Hawk. <laughs> I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. The relic is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? Oh, no, no, no. If anyone kicks her ass, it's me. <laughs> she stole the Tome of Kazloon. She must return with us. Hmm. I don't need to ask that, but no. You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm sure he'll take that well. Ravani, you might want to move a bit this way. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not Basili Dan. You are unworthy. Don't you have what you came for? You know we do not suffer thieves. She cannot walk away from this insult. I will take her. If you object, duty demands that we fight. Mm. All right. Let's dance. Maravas! So shall it be! Uh. All right. And they're both happy with me. Good to know. while this recharges because you know that's the useful thing um yeah so this was more or less my strategy after failing to kill our our shop about oh, three or four times in my very first playthrough ow 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 
holy cow, ow. Yeah, because, uh, things like that. There's some things you can do. Ow. I'm exhausted. Yes, I figure you are, Hawk. Using punk. Yeah, yeah. No need to. I got the honor guard too. And now all of Kirkwall knows I'm a mage. Yay. Is it over? Yep. It's over. The city has been saved! It appears Kirkwall has a new champion. And my friend's at my side. And Isabella came back. We're all happy. You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. He clearly didn't watch the fight. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're developing a little crush. Don't be ridiculous. The champion just seems very heroic in your tale. You didn't see the fight. Mm -hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Are you hunting for an infamous apostate? Is that what this is all about? Or is it revenge? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the keep owed the champion their lives. He wasn't nobles. just a hero. He was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. To no one's surprise. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Uh, she's just about to walk in. Return she? to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. 
Do not hide behind the champion. He has no role in this. Sounds like you two have quite the little argument going. This is not an argument. It's treason. I think the champion's right. views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what he has to say? I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. No, uh, okay, you know what? I'll go through these for you guys. What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill fit to your position if you cannot understand this. Technically, Rosino, I believe, is older. Also, there is a reason why you were not the Viscount. And the fact that you're refusing to help a new leader get in charge is not good. Also, interesting how your sword has now changed to incorporate some red into it. You're hardly receptive to whatever gets in your way. And I become less receptive each moment this nonsense continues. The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city city. I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Duma failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. <laughs> No, I... If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her! Everyone fears her! Very true. Which is why I agree with you. Sorry to break it to you, Meredith, but I think you're wrong. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. Um... My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, that was rude. if you please. Your grace. He should be clapped in irons. Made an example of. That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. Because technically, Althina has rule over Meredith. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... Short of putting those two in cells, I doubt anything will keep them from each other. Sadly true. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And, yet you and now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, champion. It's interesting that she sends them home the same way Meredith did. All quiet around here, Captain. Good. Carry on. Oh, my party's still with me. And all my companions want to talk to me. You're giving me that look again. What are you writing this time? So, you and Hawk, I need some details. Did you go down on one knee? Did he jump you? Did you swear eternal vows of love, or is this just a physical thing? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fine. 
But if you don't tell me, I'm just going to have to make it up. <sighs> Many Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. All right. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. That's that's easy enough to do. <sighs> oh my gosh. Everyone wants to talk. Um Okay, since I know all the companions want to talk, uh I'm going to go ahead and leave that for next episode, because I'm out of time with this episode. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in, and in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, happy trails.